Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. In today's video, I'll be using Paper Rose Studios Mediterranean Vibes 12x12 Paper Collection. I also have the Mediterranean Basics 12x12 Collection and the two work beautifully together. I immediately fell in love with a Mediterranean Vibes Collection. The colors are beautiful, I love the designs. It's a very different look from what I see every day here in the Pacific Northwest. And generally I would go for the six by six size, but I really like the look of the cut apart images and sentiments, so I decided to go with the 12 by 12 size. And I think the designs are still small enough to work for cards. The 12 by 12 collection includes 12 double sided pattern papers, two each of 12 designs. And I love that the back of the front cover is all sentiment cut aparts. Even the label at the bottom of the paper that has the UPC, the back side has a pattern. So you could use every scrap of paper and not have any waste from this collection. If you're not a fan of 12 by 12 paper, this collection is also available in the six by six size. And here's a look at the Mediterranean Basics 12 by 12 collection. On the back side of the front cover, it also has lots of sentiment cut aparts, and it's a really good variety of sentiments that you can use year round. The colors and designs are gorgeous and they work perfectly with the Mediterranean Vibes collection. Paper Rose always has so many fun texture looking pattern papers. This collection also has 12 double sided pattern papers, two each of 12 designs. Although technically it would be closer to 13 sheets since you have the front cover with all the sentiment cut aparts. Here's a look at the border at the bottom of the paper. You can see it has a design. And I will be using some of those borders on my cards. This collection is also available in the six by six size. And I do have links in the description box if you are interested in purchasing either of the collections. So let's go ahead and get started with card design number one. I'll be making quite a few cards in this video. I will be using a card sketch for inspiration. The first sketch is from OWH, this is number 176. And if you are interested in any of the card sketches I use in this video, I share all of that information on my coordinating blog post. That link is provided in the description box below, or you can simply head over to christymarcott.com. This first card features four different pattern papers, this lovely leaf paper I'm using for the largest area, I did round the bottom two corners. The orange polka dot pattern paper is the back side of one of the borders that has the UPC label. I'm layering everything on some green cardstock, and this cardstock is from Basil. It's the Aspen color. It works beautifully with this collection. I'll add one of the sentiment cut aparts. It's your birthday, and I did put some double sided adhesive tape on the back side to adhere it in place. I want to keep most of my cards nice and flat since I will be donating them. So for embellishments, I'm using Love From Lizzie Peel Offs. This is the racing green mirror color in the mini circle style. I'll add three of the largest circles in the lower left hand corner. So there is my finished card and I did make a total of six using this design. Now moving on to card design number two. The card sketch is from Freshly Made Sketches. This is sketch number 582. I selected one of the purple textured pattern papers for the background. I'll layer it on some green cardstock, put my card front onto a card base, leaving eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. All of my cards in this video are American Standard A2 size, four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. Using Paper Rose's stitch circle dies, I cut out two circles from this beautiful pattern paper. It's the front and back side. I have the floral paper for the larger circle and the smaller circle has some figs and leaves on it. Behind the fig paper, I did cut out a second circle die cut and adhered the two together just for some extra stability. Next, I'll add one of the sentiment cut aparts, happiest of wishes to you. Before adhering the sentiment, I did put some foam dimension on the left side and a scrap piece of pattern paper on the right side. That'll help keep everything nice and level. Then for a final finishing touch, I'll add some more of the mini circle peel offs. 
put two of the medium circles in the upper right hand corner and three of the smaller circles underneath the sentiment on the left side. So there is my finished card and again I did make six using this design. The cards all feature different sentiment cut aparts. For card design number three, I'm using one of my favorite card sketches. This is from OWH, it's number 218. I love using this sketch when I wanna feature beautiful pattern paper. I have some of the green textured paper for the background. At the bottom of the card, I'm adding a strip of peach colored pattern paper with all these little lines in pink, green, and white. And I did cut that strip just a little bit longer than my card panel. So I flipped it over, used my scissors to trim off the extra. I'll layer this piece on the dark green cardstock. And I've already layered the featured pattern paper on that same green cardstock. I'll put adhesive on the back and adhere that panel on the right side of the card following the sketch design. Put ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base. The sentiment I'm using for this card is, Hey girl, you rock. Thought that worked perfectly with the beautiful pattern paper. I've always loved the beauty of red rock, and that's not something I see here in Western Washington. I did put some scrap cardstock on the very left side of the sentiment before adhering it down. And for a final finishing touch, I'll add some of the mini circle peel offs on the left side. So there is my finished card, and I did make six using this design. I have probably made over a thousand cards using this card sketch. It's a great layout and really has a nice balance to the card. For card design number four, I'm not using a card sketch. I have some soft orange watercolor looking paper for the background and I'll be layering it on some orange cardstock. I selected this lovely peach or maybe it's nectarine pattern paper and I cut it out using Paper Rose's Banners number two large die set. On the left side of the banner, I'll add a strip of green and white stripe paper, and this is the back side of one of the borders that has the label on it. I'll put glue on the back and adhere the lovely peach pattern paper to my card. On the left side of the card, I've added a one and a half inch strip of the peach colored pattern paper with all the little lines, same pattern paper I used on the previous card. I'll layer this piece on some orange cardstock, and I'm not sure of the brand of cardstock since it didn't have a label on it. I'll add ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base, leaving eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. For a sentiment, I'm adding You Are Amazing, and I do have some double-sided adhesive tape on the back side. For a final finishing touch, I cut out another banner from the same die set, this time from some orange cardstock and I'll adhere it in the upper right hand corner. So there is my finished card and I did make six using this design. I love how this card turned out. It's one of my favorites from the entire set. Now moving on to card design number five. The card sketch is from Cards TV. This is sketch number 16. I selected two pattern papers for the background. I have some of the green watercolor paper for the top and this really fun orange and green abstract design for the bottom. I cut them at an angle, adhered them onto the dark green cardstock. Then for a little bit of separation between the two pattern papers, I'm adding a stitch strip die cut by Paper Rose. I put a piece of double-sided adhesive tape on the back side, and since it is longer than the card panel, I'll simply flip it over and trim off the extra. This card will be featuring one of the image cut aparts. I love how it already has some of the colored frames around the image. I'll still layer it on some of the green card stock for some extra contrast. Before adhering it to the card, I am putting some scrap card stock pieces above and below where it goes over that diagonal strip. That'll help keep the image cut apart nice and level. And by adding cardstock instead of foam dimension, it'll still keep the card nice and flat. The card sketch does indicate using an oval instead of a rectangle, but that's the nice thing about using card sketches. You can follow them exactly or you can modify them to work best for you. For a sentiment, I'm adding thank you and I'll put it in the lower right hand corner. For a final finishing touch, I'll add more of the mini circle peel offs. 
three in the lower right hand corner and two in the upper left hand corner. This is the same racing green mirror color I've been using throughout the video. Sometimes it looks like it's black, but it's really a dark green color. So there is my finished card, and this time I made a total of four. All of the cards feature different image and sentiment cut aparts. And it's because of the cut apart images that I went with the 12 by 12 size. The six by six paper collection also includes the cut apart images, just a scaled down version. Now moving on to card design number six. The card sketch is from Cards TV. This is sketch number three. I selected two pattern papers, have the purple textured paper for the larger portion and some fun stripe paper with purple, pink, white, and green stripes for the top. I'll add both of them onto some purple cardstock. And this is another cardstock I'm not sure of the brand or the name. I have a ton of cardstock that's been in my craft room for over 15 years. So it's always nice to find a color that matches beautifully with a collection. I'll put adhesive on the back and add my card front onto a card base, this time leaving a fourth of an inch of the white card base showing. This card will also feature one of the cut apart images. I decided not to layer it on any of the purple cardstock, but I do want to add just a little bit of dimension, so I'm adhering it onto some thick white cardstock. It's the same 120 pound cardstock that I use for my card bases. I miscreased a bunch of card bases and I didn't want that cardstock to go to waste. So I'm using it for sentiments and also dimension. So there is my finished card and this time I made a total of four. I decided to keep this set nice and simple. Now moving on to my final card design. This is card design number seven. The card sketch is from Freshly Made Sketches. It's number 583. I thought this looked like a really fun sketch and you can interpret it all kinds of different ways. Instead of adding the rainbow, I'm using a semicircle that I cut out from some of the purple watercolor paper. I used some light tan cardstock for the narrow strip. Added both of those pieces onto some fun pattern paper that's an off-white and has all the little lines all over it. I'll layer that piece on the dark green cardstock, add my card front onto a card base. Next, I'll add the sentiment just because, and I do have some double-sided adhesive tape on the back to adhere it in place. I cut out two foliage die-cut pieces. I use Paper Rose's Dainty Foliage Die Set. The set includes three different dies. I know I did show more. I like to combine different sets on my magnetic sheets. I'll put glue on the back and adhere both of those pieces on the right side of the sentiment. I also cut out a tiny bow die cut from some pink cardstock, and this is part of Paper Rose's Tiny Bows die set. I love this set. It's perfect for adding just a little extra something to your card. Plus it doesn't add the extra dimension that ribbon or twine would add. I'll put glue on the back and adhere it toward the lower portion of the foliage. Then for a final finishing touch, I'll add three of the larger peel off stickers underneath the sentiment on the left side. So there is my finished card and I did make six using this design. After making 38 cards, I still have a ton of the sentiment cut aparts left over. I've popped them all in a bag. I love the variety of colors and sentiments. So I will be hanging on to these since I still have quite a bit of the pattern paper left over. I really love this collection, so I'm hoping I'll have enough time to pull it out and make more cards. Now here's another look at the 38 cards I made using Paper Rose Studios Mediterranean Vibes and also Mediterranean Basics Collection. I use the 12 by 12 size, but both collections are also available in the six by six size. This was a fun set of cards to make. I love the colors and designs, and I think these would work for either masculine or feminine cards. Sometimes it's tricky to find a good masculine collection. If you are interested in any of the products I used in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. Paper Rose is based in Australia and they do ship their products internationally, 
but you can also purchase them here in the US and I have links for both locations in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.